Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to look at how to divide a circle into various sections. Dividing a circle is simple, especially if you are using Adobe Illustrator. But how is it done in Photoshop? Let's find out. For this tutorial, I'm using a 1005 by 1005 pixels artboard with a resolution of 300. Next, we're going to our shape tool and look for ellipse. Go to the fill color and select light blue. You can select any color of your choice. I prefer light blue. Hold on shift and draw your circle. Now let's free transform it. I'm going to edit free transform and ensure that you have the anchor point in the middle like this if you don't have the anchor point showing you can go up here and make sure the anchor point is checked you can see if I uncheck it you have no anchor point so check it to make sure the anchor point is showing now we're going to zoom in till we see the pixels in the squares and ensure that you still have the anchor point showing I'm doing this by pressing control and the plus sign repeatedly so here we are next you need to take note of where the anchor point is that's right here and then we pick our rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangle around where the center is supposed to be just here like this you know that every square you see is one pixel next i'll pick my paint packer tool choose a color anything dark will do create a new layer rename it line And then fill our square. You can press Ctrl D to switch off the matching ants. Zoom out a little bit by pressing Ctrl and minus repeatedly. And let's pick our pencil tool. Pencil. And ensure that the size is 2 pixels. Come to where you filled in your square, hold down shift and draw a line downwards till it gets to the end of the circle, like this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to pick the rectangular marquee tool, select the bottom part of the line to where it touches the edge of the circle and delete. Press Ctrl D. Switch off the matching ants. And let's zoom out completely. Now we have our first division, first line. And we're going to free transform this line as well. So with the layer still selected, go to file, sorry, go to edit, free transform. And this time let's make sure the anchor point is at the top of the line. So you go to the anchor point up here and select this part. Now the anchor point is at the top of the line. And we are going to go into the angle showing here. And we are going to add our divisions. So let's say I want to divide this circle into eight parts. All I do is type in 360, which is the total circle, divided by 8. I press enter. I press enter once again. Next, you hold down Ctrl, Shift, and Alt. And then you press T. Press it repeatedly till it goes around the number of divisions. 
Now, in so doing, you can see that in your layers panel, you've created several layers for all the divisions. So we are going to merge them. First, we, we need to group them. Select all the layers, Control and G to group Control J to duplicate it. And we are going to merge that one by pressing Control and E. Now we can switch off the first group, come back to our ellipse, and we need to convert this to a rasterize layer. So you go to layer, rasterize, shape. Now we merge the shape or the rasterized layer with the merged lines. Let me rename this to merged lines. So select these two by holding control and pressing control and E once again. So now we have them as one. Next to our to create our divisions, we can simply pick the magic wand and click on each section. Go to edit, copy. That's if you want to make a copy, edit, paste in place. So you have a division.